Okay, so the proper way to remove a bandage is to use bandage scissors because, like we mentioned before, they have a special bottom portion to them so that they, they prevent you from cutting into the skin when you're taking the bandage off. And just simply put those, put that bottom under there, and you know it's easiest just to cut this bandage off because you know it's going to be really hard to undo what you did, especially after it's been on there for four or five days. Um, the other thing to mention about wound management is if your pet will allow it, skin stapler can come in pretty handy, especially in a pinch, especially if you're out hunting or hiking because a lot of times you're not going to have access to a vet out in the field very easily. So um, sometimes, you know, this goes back to muzzling, first of all, for safety. And a lot of times animals will actually allow you to do this. So if you have a wound that you think you can close, so <clears throat> once again, this is for a pinch. So you, what you do is use the thumb forceps for tissue handling and just use that to pull the edges, pull the edges together. So you're going to pull the wound edges together. And the stapler has a little mark, it's like a little triangle there that shows you, you know, where to put it and put it right on the edge of the wound and I won't do it to rust here but you just, you know, poke it and just go down the line until it's closed. And, you know, once you do that, you can also place your bandage over to protect it from, you know, coming apart again. And then, you know, take them in to have the staples removed because when we do it, you know, properly in a clinical setting, we always, you know, shave the wound and clean it up really really well so it doesn't have an infection and so the hair doesn't grow in. So you just need to do that when you get back to civilization and have access to a vet.